beautiful Gazara Garcia half breed. It's not polished in any way because I like to leave them original, of course. The head stall is not coming with this, by the way. It says right there, E Garcia or C Garcia, but I believe it's an E when I put enough spit on it. It has the copper inlays in the back. Yeah, you better stay away. It's the half breed with the mouth relief. I know I've had it for 20 years so far, and I was old when I got it, but of course it's an E. Garcia, so it's modern. Pretty perfect. And these conchas are really neat, aren't they? Looking them up today. They don't make this exact one anymore. Of course, they don't make any of them anymore. I actually have the spurs that match it, but they're modern ones, too. A lot of work in there. Again. Whoops. Sorry. The Garcia name. Spade. Or mouthpiece. Cricket works really well, by the way. This is a really, really fun old bit. It is older than the hills. I guarantee it's 120 years old. Old Vaquero bit. It has no marker on it that I can see. It's so old and worn. But it has some neat cheek pieces with the moon and the stars and a little bit of a heart on it. I'll get real close and give you like a little inspection. It's a neat, neat old piece. And this old guy used this bit so much, he done wore it out. He actually welded the mouthpiece back together. This is some way old guy. It might be Gajalva or something fun, who knows. And I'm going to further investigate this one. I think it's just a neat old piece of history. See, at one time it kind of had hearts on it. And a little bit of this and a little bit of that has the chains, the slobber chains. Original ones probably, they look pretty good. They've been wired together with a little bit of baling wire. And look at the funky old falling apart headstall. Looks like this headstall might be from the 40s or the 50s. It's nothing. But it came on this bridle and by God some cowboy used the tar out of it. It's kind of fun, isn't it? This bit just says all stainless. I'll get in real close on the cheek pieces. Carving down the shanks, it's just nickel, it's not sterling. It says stainless, it says bits and spurs on the corner. Bits and spurs, don't know what that means. It's actually kind of a neat little piece. And folks, it has an articulating mouthpiece that flips, sorry I'm doing this two-handed, that flips up and down. Kind of been interesting for some of my horses. Copper on top. I bet this bit's no youngster. It's a very nice bit. This is an August Berman. I had two of these at one time. And I sold one. I don't know why. Didn't know what it was. Now I'm in the loop and I've got it. It's the half breed, it's called. On the inside of one cheek piece, it says, right here, though you won't be able to see it if you got closer, you would. It says 411. 1911. Then it says EZH, and I don't believe that'll come out in the film, but who knows. Um, it's a half breed. It's in good shape. I haven't polished it. I used it as a child. It was a gift when I was 13. I'm 52, so um, it's pretty old. Pretty neat. I'll show you both sides. Mouthpiece. Nothing written on the back of the bar. There's a star somewhere on it I can't find. I've seen it before. Run into Ian and then there's a job about it. You, to ride too out here? you want to ride out here? We'll saddle you up and take you a little spin. After all, I'm looking for a cowboy to take care of me. Yeah, that's always worked. Not in this lifetime. You know what you call a cowboy without a girlfriend? 
homeless.